Hey, genuine rebellious and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. On the outside, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years. In spite of the three waves of corona, with the fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline, in progress, all variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates, besides other natural calamities all over the globe. He is social activist, kumpur-hearted preacher, Professor Esure, back with altruistic delight, enticed, excited like an infant to learn the unknowns for my 198th video, 198, on Anvil of Publication on YouTube today, 22nd November 2022, Tuesday. The topic for today is laser eye surgery, also known as laser corneal surgery. I assure you my videos are short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal, so we'll live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I'll live forever, having published 198 videos so far, including this particular video, for the benefit of society, that to absolutely free. Laser. I always start with the basics, okay? It's not that, that uh, you do not know, some, some of the viewers may not be aware of all these things, okay? That's why, okay. Laser is an acronym for light amplification for stimulated emission of radiation. An optical device that produces an intense monochromatic beam of coherent light. Applications are vast. Barcode scanning, machining, even the hardest natural material, diamond, light show, weapons in warfare besides precision surgery. This video covers using laser for eye surgery. Eye surgery, also known as ophthalmic or ocular surgery, is surgery performed on the eye or its adnexa by an ophthalmologist. Eye surgery is synonymous with the ophthalmology. Since the eye is heavily applied, supplied by nerves, Anesthesia is essential. Local anesthesia is most commonly used. Topical anesthesia using Leo Lidocaine topical gel is often used for quick procedures. Since topical anesthesia requires cooperation from the patient, general anesthesia is often used for children. Traumatic eye injuries or major orbitotomies and for a apprehensive patient, patients. The cataract, also known as lens replacement surgery, is an opacification oppos or cloudiness of the eye's crystalline lens due to aging, disease or trauma that typically prevents light from forming a clear image on the retina. If visual loss is significant, surgical removal of the lens may be warranted with the last optical power because usually replaced with a plastic intraocular lens. Owing to the high prevalence of cataracts, cataract extraction is the most common eye surgery, especially for elderly. Glaucoma is a group of diseases affecting the optic nerve that results in vision loss and is frequently characterized by raised intraocular pressure, quite common for people who are diabetes. Canuloplasty is an advanced non-penetrating procedure designed to enhance drainage through the eye's natural drainage system to provide sustained reduction of intraocular pressure. Canuloplasty uses microcatheter technology in a simple and minimally invasive procedure quite common for people who have diabetes. Refractive surgery aims to correct errors of refraction to the eye, reducing or eliminating the need for corrective lenses. Extraocular muscle surgery is the third most common eye surgery in USA. Oculoplastic surgery or oculoplastics is a sub-speciality of ophthalmology that deals with the reconstruction of the eye and associated structures. Eyelid surgery or blepar 
blepar blepar eye lift is plastic surgery of the eyelids to remove excessive skin or subcutaneous fat orbital surgery orbital reconstruction or ocular prosthetics for size orbital decompression is used with the graves disease a condition often associated with overactive the overactive thyroid problems in which the eye muscles swell and enucleation is the removal of the eye leaving the eye muscles and remaining orbital contents intact and evisceration is the removal of the eye's contents leaving the sural shell intact usually performed to reduce the pain in a blind eye an extraction is the removal of the entire orbital contents including the eye extra ocular muscles fat and connective tissues usually for malignant orbital tumors laser eye surgery lasik shortly is a surgical procedure that is capable of correcting a wide range of nearsightedness myopia far sightedness hyper hyperopia and astigmatism lasik is the acronym for laser assisted in situ keratomily uses the name refers to the use of laser to reshape the cornea without invading the enabling cell layers lasik is currently the most common performed refractive procedure in the usa and in india lasik improves the uncorrected vision for distance once visual ca- capacity while not varying corrective lenses in most patients who have the procedure nearly all patients can expect to achieve 20 40 vision which most states consider good enough to drive without having to wear contacts or glasses and many can expect to achieve 20 20 vision for or better that is a perfect vision so called perfect vision that is at a distance of 20 feet you should be able to read the last line uh, in the board used by the ophthalmologist optometrist really however there are no guarantees that you will have perfect vision remember that there is no guarantee whatsoever not only for this surgery in any surgery for that matter they don't give any warranty guarantee all of you know that when you spend so many lakhs and crores of rupees many surgeons recommend having the procedure done after a major may after the major eye changes are occurred in one's life you can resume most normal activities immediately after surgery however for at least two weeks you will need to avoid activities that could cause perspiration to run into the eyes you should wear safety glasses while playing contact sports whether or not you have, you have had surgery most patients achieve good vision the day after surgery and find that their eyes feel fairly normal within a day however vision can continue to improve and best vision can still take two or two to three months to occur it's not a magic cure you know that none of us are god the terms laser eye surgery and refractive surgery are commonly used as if they are interchangeable which is absolutely wrong lasers may be used to treat non refractive in conditions example to seal the retinal tear laser eye surgery or laser corneal surgery is a medical procedure that uses a laser to reshape the surface of the eye to correct myopia short sightedness hyper hypermetropia as i said before long sightedness and astigmatism and even curvature of the eye surface refractive surgery is not compatible with everyone and people may find an occasion that eyewear also known as spectacles is also ne- still needed after surgery also included include procedures that can change eye color from brown to blue lasers provide multiple benefits when performing surgery including decrease in post operative pain decrease in post operative surgical side infections improved wound healing precise cutting and reduction in blood loss risk factors that are identified with the use of lasers include fire physiological damage damage to the eyes and biological hazards such as laser plume guidelines for laser surgery surgery department should be, have established laser safety practices and procedures protocols in general surgery approximately 10% of the reported surgical fires involve lasers as a source of ignition clarity and laser plume controls sources potential health and safety hazards and control measures certified surgical technologist shortly cst as well as other surgical personnel 
who use or work in the presence of class 3B and class A healthcare laser system, shortly HCLS, should complete detailed training in the safe use of lasers to ensure the safety of patients and surgical team during the procedures. To be appointed designated as a laser safety officer LSO, the CST should complete an LSO training course. Surgery department should have established laser safety PNP procedures and uh, practices for all borrowed, leased, leased or owned HCLS. The healthcare delivery optimization organization HLO, not HLO, HDO, I'm sorry, should have established procedural and equipment protocol control policies to avoid potential hazards when class 3B or 4 HCLS is in use. The CST should be responsible for ensuring the correct sterile laser instruments are available for use by the surgeon. Specific precautions should be taken by the CST when a fiber is used with the HCLS during an endoscopic procedure. Surgical personnel who work in the area and are with the classes 3B and 4 HCLS should undergo a health assessment examination with a focus on ocular performance and dermatological risk. The surgical department should review the policies and procedures PNP regarding safe use of HCLS on an annual basis. CST should complete continued education to remain current in the knowledge of the safe use of HCLS. Surgery should be the last option and the least preferred one compared to other options since any surgery will have post-operative complications will lead to expedite your options other options systematically, consult a minimum of three medical doctors, never ever consult surgeons to start with, since they are invariably, in, they will invariably recommend immediate surgery only to loot as much money, as much money from you as possible. Never decide the option in haste, which you will repent forever. Surgeons and private hospitals play games on emotions and force the patient's relatives to admit the patient immediately, applying unhealthy pressure tactics. Don't fall for these tricks. Lead healthy lives and prevent health complications arise to the best extent possible. I agree that all of us are martyr and age related ailments are quite normal. Medical doctors advise their patients a lot, but they in turn do not follow these recommendations. It is easy to preach, but tough to practice. Right? Okay, debates, discussion on open ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyway, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements views expressed are solely mine, based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of first-hand experience. Always watch these videos with closed caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation since zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. Today I must have taken about 13 minutes, 1-3. This time limit is self-imposed self to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural, unnatural, maybe viral and cyber war events like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays the way for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of theirs. Rest in peace and harmony. Bye.